My name is Allie. I am really, really thankful that you're here today and decided to take a little bit of time to hang out with me on my channel. I was trying to get my little mini ring set up, like completely done. It's been really hard. I've been really focusing on the A6 stuff and it's kind of challenging finding mini size stuff, which you'll see, I just use it anyway because I don't like wasting paper. I just figured, you know what? I'm gonna show you what I have so far because I am using this. I am using this as my wallet. This is the Think Than K mini planner that I asked her to do. It's a custom planner my little chunky pen. It's been really, really great. I just love it. It's getting kind of squishy and forming around everything inside. It's not exactly how I want it to be in my end vision, but I was like, man, I just want to show you what I have so far. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at my little wallet, kind of share the, some of the challenges that I've had and some of the fun that I've had. And maybe you have some suggestions that will be helpful, which would be great. Dietrich, please stop. Don't do that. Dieters, don't, don't do it. I'm so sorry. My cat likes to mark up the leg of the camera stand. Stop it. Maybe you'll have some suggestions for me to help me out because I'm a bit new because I started in rings a long, long, long time ago and I quickly divorced them <laughs> and now I'm back. So to the point where I purchased and invested a VDS A6 rings that will be coming mid-March. I'm so excited. This has been super fun as a wallet. It's been working really, really well and yeah, I'm excited to show you, so let's go. Okay, here we are. I hope this isn't too close. I'm really particular about sound, and even my husband and I were gonna start a podcast for like marriage and stuff, and um, how to overcome addiction and betrayal, all those things, lots of things. Oh my gosh, we have such a crazy, t crazy story. But we're trying to figure out like what kind of mics we're gonna get, because to me, a podcast, you can make it or break it with the sound. So here's my mini rings. It is so beautiful. I have still enjoyed this so much. You can see it's getting little scuffs here and there. I, I'm i not being super duper precious with it, but I'm also trying to kind of be careful. Mi precioso and not precious, like I'm somewhere over here. Yeah, I'm just using it and I try to be careful, but like if it gets something on it, then I'm not hugely affected by it emotionally. <laughs> so anyway, you see my husband here at the very beginning. <laughs> she has these slots here in the front and I use these for my debit cards. This is my business account and this is our personal account. And I did have a card in the front here, but all right, deets. Okay, you can't wind to come back. I can kind of show you what happens. It kind of, I don't know, it just kind of gets really, I don't know if you can see that. Like, see how it's doing that? I don't know, I just didn't want it to get super stretched out. And I didn't really need a card right there. We don't have any credit cards, and so um, I just have my two debit cards. So those were fine. And I just decided just now, I'm going to peek out my niece's little puffer. This is a funny story behind this. Let me just share. Okay, Dietrich. My sister showed me her daughter's artwork, my amazing, sweet little Reese. She showed me all these pictures and I thought this was a COVID strain. <laughs> I thought it looked like a, the COVID, you know, the little picture of the COVID virus, little molecule. I'm sorry about my cat. I was like, oh, wow, what an overachieving virus. That's COVID, right? And they're like, no, it's a puffer fish. <laughs> Oh my God. I felt really bad because I thought it was an overachieving award-winning virus, but it's a puffer fish at a birthday party. And so I asked her to send me the whole thing and I made stickers for my niece. <laughs> Isn't this adorable? Like the shark and the crab and... I don't know, we laughed so hard. And then he, they, the balloons were attached. I, somebody, I can't remember who was holding what, but now you can put them on whoever. So it's a birthday party, a sea birthday party. But I want to put the puffer fish slash award-winning virus right there peeking out. Anyway, so I did put a picture of my husband. I love, 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 love pictures. And so I just printed on some cardstock. What I figured out was, this is what the problem that I was having, is when I am printing double-sided I'm not figuring out how to make it so there's not like the margin thing right here 
Yeah. So I got to figure there's got to be a way because I'm doing it correctly with inserts that I'm making. So maybe I need to do it in a different program. The point is I wanted to do this picture for my boy and his fiance. And I was like, oh, I'll put a picture of Dave on the other side. And it just didn't match up. It's supposed to be like this. But anyway, but so I can do a little thing on the bottom. And then this is just a vellum piece. And I have to remember, let me get my measuring tool, my, my ruler. Yeah, that's what it's called, a ruler. Because I honestly forgot what the size is. So, and I, I do it by millimeters, honestly. So these ones came from a pack. This one actually I bought as a mini thing and I'll get to it, but I just need to see 68 millimeters wide, 116 tall. And that's what I based all my measurements were on these ones right here. Don't pinch my fingers, that's happened before. Cause I kind of got it stuffed y'all. Cause these are little baby rings. These are like, I think they're 15, I think, which really helped me decide against a plotter because I just don't know if I could do 10. I think it's 10, are they 10 plotters? Anyway, so this is the picture and then I made this on Canva. This is my word for the year. I was so proud of myself. These little plastic things, I made these. I purchased cut files on Etsy to make these little tabbies for the mini binder. And it was kind of a pain in the rear end because the thing with your cutting machine is that you have to have registration marks. I had to like tape them because obviously this is clear. I can't print it on there. This was just regular acetate and it's a little thicker. So anyway, I made these little sections, these four. I'm not a huge team label, but I can just remember usually. So I know that this first section is my little calendar. This second section is my grocery lists. And the third one is my like to do type things. I think that's what it is. Oh, there's nothing in this one yet. So I cut these myself on my silhouette and I will link the cutting files below too, because that was, I did not want to have to design that. Anything I can do to make it easier for myself is cool. I put one of my stickers on this back. I do not like just like blank stuff in my, on the back end pages, whatever. And I purchased this insert from Creefective Paper and it's a pocket and I shrunk it down to give me a little baby calendar in my wallet. Um, so on the other side of it, I just did one of my stickers there and it looked cool. I like her a lot. So we're in February now and the, the goal, the idea is for me to check in and put stuff on here, which I have in a while. Yeah, I'm supposed to, what, the, the, what I'm supposed to do, look, there's the shark, is just kind of go back and forth and just like kind of check in and see. And then when I'm out and about, I can see what I have uh, going on so I don't have to bring this for appointments. I can just take my little wallet with me. That's, that's what I was hoping for anyway. I just reconciled both my calendars. So now I have all of my February stuff. And when it gets super full like this, this is full. I am pooped because this week was a crazy week. And so next week I have kind of a, some recharging days that I can do here. And then I have a crazy full week again. And then I, the whole on off thing, I think I shared that with my, um, when I highlight through stuff, I need to do that highlighting thing here. I decided to just go ahead and use the, what are these called? Tombow, I think, to mark out the days that I will not be peopling. I do have a little bit of peopling right here, but I think my mother-in-law's coming. I don't know. Baby planner to match my big planner so I can just take this with me where I need to go. As the months progress, I can take them out if I need to, if it gets too stuffed. The next little section, I have some more pictures of my babies. And I think on the other side, yeah, it's my son being silly. He was giving snooty prince vibes on the, the, the ride at Dollywood. And this is just a little running list of groceries. I did purchase an, a pocket and try to shrink it down. It's just not doing what I want it to do. So like, again, I'm using this even though it's completely wrong, but I'm gonna use it because it's paper 
and it'll still do what I need it to do, which is to, to remind me what to get at the grocery store. I think I'm going to make a little insert now that I know what I'm doing on that affinity program, a baby one for myself. For some of my stuff, I tell the printer that I'm going to print on a pocket, but I, but the size, the correct size is on the pocket. So as I cut it, if that makes sense, it's hard to tell you. So like, for instance, I might have a piece of paper this big that I run through the printer, but it'll print like this and then I'll cut it out so that it's the size that I need. But the problem is, like I said, it's not matching up on either side when I wanna do double-sided stuff. I'm gonna have to figure that out. And when I do, I'll let you know. But when I am printing out, I think it's like 67% or something that's basically just shrink pocket stuff down. And then this is nothing in here right now. This is just these little daily to do type things and I got that from Kat Spresso. Cause she, she had a mini and she was rocking all the mini stuff and so she made some products and got them manufactured or I don't know where she got them, but you can get mini size stuff on Japan Amazon. I just haven't been brave enough to do it. Like you can get mini calendars and things like that. I can't read Japanese. So it's really hard for me to buy things from the Japanese Amazon because I don't know what I'm buying. You know what I mean? This next thing is like a clear, also from Catspresso, it's this like really thick, clear. I don't know how she advertised them on there. They're like these clear, thick dashes, I guess you could call them. And they have, they're the same ring size as the mini. And I bought several different kinds of them. I just decided to use one for my driver's license. I blurred it obviously, but that's really easy. It's easy for me to get it in and out and it's see-through so I can just show it to people too. So that's what that is. This was the fly leaf that I ordered to go with my custom because I wanted to put extra cards in here. And it had the pen loop so that I can carry my little pen around. And this pen has been really, really helpful. <laughs> like um, I even went to the shooting range. Oh, that's a whole nother story. It's a good story. It's freedom. I say freedom, like not freedom, like Pew Pew America, but I mean, like freedom for me and my mind. These are the inches, I guess I wrote down on a piece of paper. It's two and 11 16th by four and three sixteenth, and it's pocket shrunk down 87. That's not true. That's a little bit too big. I think I do 86, sometimes 60 something. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm talking about. You're gonna have to play with it because you have to have a little bit of a DIY mentality when you do this kind of stuff. I'm not an expert, never claimed to be one. <laughs> I went to the range and my husband didn't even have a pen. And so I had my pen that I could use to mark off because you bring the target back to see where you shot or whatever. And then I can mark off to see where I need to improve. That's my little fly leaf. And I just keep my Costco card and a couple gift cards and you can put another one in here too, but I don't have one in there. And this I also got from Cat Espresso. It's really cool. It opens up like that. And I have my rewards stuff in here. So just some rewards cards and it's just super cute. It's got this like little terrazzo look on there. And you just can do that. And that holds all of them really nice. And then I always keep BC powders. I did this in my other wallet too. I shoved it behind some a pocket, but I always keep BC powders with me because sometimes I get really bad migraines and I know when they're coming and one of these will like totally kick it in the butt. So I have about three BC powders in here. For my receipts, I just found a receipt in the back, but I usually just keep them kind of here in the front. That's where I keep my receipts at. And then in the back, there's this pocket back here, which I don't think I have. What do I have back here? Might be my insurance printout thing. It is. This is my insurance. So I have that. And then a couple more cards that are more frequently used um, that I keep, which I haven't had coffee from this place in forever. So it probably should go in here. So I don't really buy coffee from there. There's too many points. So I'll put this one here. Oh my gosh, I get a free next time, yes. Um, and then this is my insurance card. And then I think these are gift card. I do have a care credit card back here that I use if I have to for like an emergency or something. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's my setup. That is my wallet setup. It is so great. I'm really enjoying it. 
I love that I can, when I need to, I just come to this little tab right here and then write stuff that I need. And then I have my grocery list conveniently with my wallet and my planner. And then I have, that's what I was gonna do. I remember what this part, this section was for. This section was supposed to be for like just notes, like random notes that I needed to write down. And I needed to figure out how to print off the, I wanted to figure, I was getting frustrated with this whole situation with this not lining up. And I needed to figure out how to do the note pages so that they'll actually work. <laughs> so anyway, that's what this section was gonna be for, this little, that didn't have anything in between. That's my little wallet set up. It's super fun and I love it. And it's, you know, a little baby rings. And this, this fly leaf does take up quite a bit of space and so do these little pocket things back here. So you don't, I don't really have a lot of paper, but it kind of looks a little stuffed, a little bit, not too bad. My vision for this is to have corrections, like to correct this printing issue and to have vellum and some dashes and to get those note papers in there. That's the vision is to have a little bit more pretty stuff in here. So far, I'm really enjoying this little mini rings as my wallet. I think I'm gonna be in here for a very long time. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and allowing me to share my sweet little mini rings wallet with you. It was super fun. I will get it completely like I want it and probably reshare. Please check the description below if you're curious about anything that I have in here, I will probably link it. I try to take a lot of time to, to re-watch my videos um, when I'm proofing them and then I make a list of links that I will provide for you in the description in case you wanna know where something is or from or whatever um, so check there first if I haven't mentioned it then I'm super happy to answer those questions for you I love hearing all the things that y'all have to share as well it's just a joy to be able to share with you all I have a really fun video next about a dash I'll leave a little sneak peek a dash that I made for my a6 rings that is kind of a little how-to fun little crafty stay tuned for that and subscribe if you want to get notifications on when that comes out and I will see you in the next video. Bye.